thank you for returning to the world of psych and giving us this is Gus. I laughed, I cried, I cannot wait for three to five to 10 more movies. Um, <laughs> but what is it like for you to get to come back and revisit Sean as he is evolving in his life, just like you are? I mean, it's a pretty unique uh, honor, frankly, uh, as an actor uh, to, to live with a character for this long. Um, and, and to not want to betray everything that you set up uh, for so many years. So, you know, as fun as these movies are and as great as it is to see everybody and they're like family reunions, uh, there is a certain level of responsibility that goes along with, um, you know, stepping in into that skin every couple of years and wanting to do it justice. Uh, and it keeps you on your toes, you know, and it gives you something to care about like not every not every job provides <laughs> provides that so uh, it's it's uh it's a special thing yeah that's definitely true and i think that psych films have such great continuity with the show too you know so it does really feel like each time they are staying true to the story that you guys have set up um one thing that obviously was different or a new addition has been selene and her you know introduction into the family metaphorically and literally in this film. Um, so what has it been like to get to work with her and really integrate her into this story for Gus? Jasmine feels like, uh, I mean, she bleeds psych. She, she feels like she's been with us from the beginning. Um, her energy, her approach to the work, I mean, she just fit in seamlessly. Uh, I mean, she's Dulé's better half so she was gonna she wasn't going anywhere no matter what mm -hmm. but it didn't have to be that easy and it was and for us after so many years of of, of building character and evolving character uh to have the opportunity to start from scratch this late in the series um with someone that you know is is gonna stick around was uh was awesome i mean what a what a fun challenge and we want to make sure we get it right, but it was also like a new energy to add to an old show. Mm -hmm. And uh, and again, she she's so much fun and she's such a gamer that there's there's almost nothing you, you can throw at her that she's not willing to, you know, to take a stab at. And, and the comfort level, obviously, with all of us is there because we're all very close uh, in our real lives as well. So um, it's it's awesome. I'm so glad Dulé met and fell in love with that woman. <laughs> um, you are much more enthusiastic than perhaps Sean is. He obviously is, you know, looking for a, a thread there that he can pull at the start of this film. Um, and I love that uh, Gus pointed out early on, he was like, you're always finding a flaw, right? Like, well, <laughs> while he's trying to go a full steam ahead, Sean's always like, wait, there might be something here. Um, so is there a small part of Sean that you think maybe just wants to keep the status quo, even as he's moved forward with Juliet, he maybe is like, wants to find something wrong with Selene? Yeah, I think it's an interesting um, battle that, that, that's going on inside of Sean because he wants his best friend to be happy. Um, there's no one that he loves in the world more than Gus, but he also wants them to keep doing this forever somehow even though it doesn't make sense and it's not even physically possible. I think it, with regards to Selene, because Gus is so head over heels mm -hmm. and truly feels like he's found a soulmate in, in Selene, I think with this one, Sean's probably more leaning into, I want to make sure that my best friend is, you know, going to be betrayed or taken behind the woodshed. I think he's feeling pretty protective. Um, but ultimately, you know, wants Gus to be happy. So it's 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 the adventurer in Sean that's ignited because he loves going down a rabbit hole with the added element of this is serious and I want it to work out, but I also have to make sure that, you know, everything is legit here. Yeah, I love that. Of course, the friendship between the two of you has always been at the heart of the story and feels very genuine uh, to this day. But speaking of you know, romances, uh, you and Juliet do get a bit of uh, growing pains in this film, as it were. Some interesting, uh, honest or vulnerable conversations in the midst of the chaos. Can you talk about sort of opening up that door or not again? 
Yeah, it felt very real to me just because of, you know, where we are in our in our lives. You know, we're not kids anymore either. And a lot of the sort of existential crises that these characters are facing are the exact same ones that, you know, you're talking about over dinner, uh, you know, when you rap. So it was a little bit of life imitating art. But I also think, you know, for all the, the fun and games that we you know, that we push forward in the psych universe. I think what, what buys us all of that real estate is, you know, the moments where the show also feels grounded. Like that, that's an absolutely necessary ingredient to the success of this show. And to have, you know, a woman of a certain age uh, faced with the reality that, you know, uh, there is a window uh, and what does that mean? And what does that look like? And, and, what does your partner think? But ultimately, like, what do you, th what do you think? Like, where is your heart um, as a woman? And, you know, the stigmas and, you know, the social conditioning and what's expected of you versus what you truly want and feel comfortable with. It's not the kind of stuff we usually like lean into on psych, but right. it's, it's very real. And, uh, and, and it's very real in any relationship. And if we're going to keep doing these movies and involving these characters, we're going to have to face some of them head on. I really loved, I thought that uh, this discuss was kind of full of little moments like that. Obviously you and Juliet. Um, and then we even have uh, Carlton and his daughter and him sort of like coming to that realization of like what he has here as opposed to on the force, which is also really beautiful. Um, so I guess for me, that would be the most surprising element, but for you coming back to this well, you know, for the 300th time, what was the most surprising thing about the script or about the filming of This Is Guest? I don't know if it was surprising, but it was certainly the most fulfilling and satisfying. That was just watching Tim's continued, um, you know, he's, he, every turn he's exceeded uh, every possible expectation uh, on his road back um, uh, from suffering a stroke. It's, it's, I mean, he's my hero and, and watching the, the growth and, and the difference between, you know, him in part two and, and him in part three is, uh, it's, it's really beautiful. Just, you know, just watching him get more and more comfortable and, uh, and leaning back into something that, you know, is acting as, as his greatest passion on this planet. I mean, the guy loves to perform like that's, you, that's who he is the second you meet him, you know, that that's what Tim is. And so uh, getting to watch uh, him work again and feel more confident and feel more comfortable, uh, specifically uh, the scene in the car mm -hmm. with Sean and Gus and on the porch, obviously, with with Henry um, and his daughter uh, were the most satisfying for sure. I love that. I really loved the opening scene too, because uh, it just felt like a great combination of like obviously the humor with you guys feeding him lines and then at the same time like literally checking in with him you know like yeah. uh <laughs> they're like how are you are you okay man? are you should be you should be here um so yeah that, that was like i love how psych always weaves in real life with with the fiction and makes it even like even greater than some of its parts i guess but <laughs> Steve, thanks man it's uh I, I can't give enough credit uh, over the years, the show takes on its own life because it needs to. And, and a good showrunner will recognize that at some point, uh, you know, you got to give the keys over uh, because that's ultimately going to be what, what sustains the show. And no one is better uh, at doing that than Steve Franks. But what we forget is it, he really is the heart and soul of this show. He always has been. Uh, the energy that everyone loves about psych, the spirit, the innocence, uh, the positivity, the sort of love forward uh, approach that that has sustained it for so long is Steve Franks uh, to his core. Um, so, you know, I, I always got to bring it back to that. Like there is no there is no psych without that man putting himself on a screen and saying, this is my mantra. This is my approach to life. And I think it can work as a television show. I love that. <laughs> um, I also, uh, I love the like kind of double date that you guys had um, early on in the movie that did not go necessarily uh, <laughs> as well as it could have. Uh, so what would you think is the perfect double date? Where should they go together? 
in the future? You know, any kind of like living history experience, space camp would probably be a good one <laughs> for those four. I think anything that's just a vacation is not going to check the box because you know, these, these two, and to, to an extent, Juliet and Selene too, mm -hmm. you know, they need, they need a mystery to solve. It's like, it's, it's part of their DNA, all four of them. Like they need to snoop. They, uh, they need to go on a ride. They need something unexpected to happen. So, you know, to say like, oh, these just, these four should just go to Hawaii and lay on a beach. Like, I don't know how satisfying that would be unless a body washed up on right. shore. Exactly. Then, it's the perfect, then it's the perfect vacation. <laughs> I love that the ladies got to have their own, you know, like part in the mystery too. Uh, you know, like oh. team, when they team up with Vic, that was so uh, fabulous to see both detective teams working in conjunction. Um, yeah. But thank you so much. I really enjoyed this film. I would like to watch it like seven more times while awaiting the announcement of the next one. <laughs> so. It was um, our pleasure. Uh, life changing. Always happy to come back and, <laughs> uh, and say thank you to our fans. So thank you, Tatiana. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, good night and good luck or whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>